Hello learners, today we are going to see a problem on cylinder, so which you know is again comes under parallel line development. The problem which we are going to solve today goes like this. A vertical cylinder of base diameter 50 mm and axis length 60 mm is cut by two planes. Okay, so this point is very important. It's cut by two planes perpendicular to VP and both of them are inclined to HP by an angle of 40 degree. So it can be equal inclination or you may also get a problem. So where the angles will be different. So in this case, so they both makes 40 degrees with HP. They intersect the axis on the top face. You have to draw the development of the lateral surface of the retained por uh, bottom portion of this particular cylinder. The orthographic projection for this problem looks something like this. So without uh, being cut, so you have to draw a cylinder whose diameter is 50 mm and the axis length equal to 60 mm. You can make note here that so I have made all the lines using a thin line. So that is by taking 0.13 as the line dimension. So this will be the front and the top view of that particular cylinder. And I have also named all the divisions. So in this case, you know that for a cylinder, as you don't have any virtual uh, real edge, so you have to divide that circle into equal number of parts. So for my problem here, I have divided that into eight equal parts. You can also divide that into 12 parts if you want more accurate curve. So this is how the front and top view of that cylinder looks like. Now let us draw the section plane for this particular problem. So in this case, there are two section planes. So both of them intersect the axis on the top face and they make 40 degrees with the horizontal. So let us now construct the section plane. So it is intersecting the axis at the top. So I'll just draw two lines on the either side. Obviously the line should be on the either side. So otherwise they will intersect one another. So whenever there are two planes which are intersecting, always you have to draw it on either side, even if the angles are different. So in this case, so this is a section plane which makes 40 degrees with respect to the horizontal. So we'll now dimension it. So the angle between these two has to be 40. So I can do it like this. So similar way, I can also take this and make it as 40. Or else I can also use an option called as mirror. I'll show you that. So once, okay, you get the half portion of this. So you know the other half is symmetric. So I can select that line and I'll use an option called as mirror and I'll mirror that about the axis. So you can also use mirror option in order to draw this. So these two are the section planes and as I told you in the previous section, so you have to change the line type which indicates the section plane. So I'll do it now. So I'll now change the line type from continuous to alternate long and short. And you know that, so the representation of section plane, so you have to put a call out, that's an arrow which is pointing towards the retained section. So I'm going to do that now. So let it be S itself. If you want, you can change it. So always the arrow should point towards the retained section. So this is how you represent the section plane. So once this is done, so I have to now darken only the retained portion of it. So for that, so I want to cut this solid wherever there is intersection of the edge with the section plane. So we'll take one by one. So I'll start from A, A1. So I want to split this line about this point, split this line about this. So here it is not required. 
so this one here and finally the last about this point so now i have to darken only the retained portion and you know that for a cylinder you don't have any real edges so obviously here only the boundary should be darkened so again i'll split this here I'll split this line here okay so now i will select only the boundaries of this and i'll make it as thick visible line so this is how you represent the solid and obviously here the entire circle as the bottom is not chopped is visible even this one you make it as 0.5 mm okay so this is how the final front and the top view of the solid after being cut look like so now we are going for the development of this particular retained portion of the cylinder now let us name the points where the solid has been cut so we'll start from the edge a a1 so we'll call it as 1 so then we'll go to b so i'll call it as 2 then c i'll call it as 3 then d i'll call it as d d1 so we'll call it as 4 so then e e1 we'll call it as 5 so then f f1 we call it as 6 so as it is behind 4 it has to be indicated inside the bracket so then there is one more that is dg1 exactly behind cc1 so we'll call it as 7 so then the edge h h1 which is behind bb1 so we will call it as 8 so the section plane cuts the generator at 8 points and obviously there is nothing behind a a1 so this is how you represent the cut points as you are already aware that the development of the cylinder is got when you roll the cylinder on a two dimensional sheet of paper so obviously when you roll the cylinder on a paper the rectangle what you obtain so will have a stretch out length equal to the circumference of the circle so in this case the stretch out length will be pi d which is pi into 50 so you get it as 157 mm so that means the total length of the rectangle which you get by rolling the cylinder is 157 mm and in this case as we have divided that cylinder into eight equal part so each part will have a dimension equal to 19.625 mm so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to draw a rectangle of length 60 and width 19.625 then i am going to make the multiple copy of it by using the mirror option so let us construct the rectangle and you know that it has to be adjacent to the front view of the cylinder So we'll dimension it now. So it has to be 157 by 8 equal parts. So that comes to 19.625. Okay, so now I want 8 copies of this. So I'm going to use the option which I have used in the previous problem that is mirror. So I'm going to mirror the entire thing 8 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So if you've done it properly, the stretch out length should come to 157. So once you name all the generator that is A, A1, B, B1 like that in the stretch out figure. So now we will transfer each of the cut portion. So we'll start from one. As you know that one, cuts a a1 so i'll draw the horizontal projector from 1 to a a1 2 to b b1 so 3 you know that it intersect c so 
so then 4 to d d1 5 to e e1 so then 6 to f f1 so then 7 it coincides with the top g so then finally 8 to h h1 and the last one is again coming back to the last point where you opened up A. So that is 1 to A, A1. So, we'll name it now all the points. So, here it is 1, B, B1 it is 2, C, C1 it is 3, D, D1 it is 4, E, E1 it is 5, F, F1 it is 6, G, G1 it is 7, and H, H1 it is 8, and finally A, A1 it is one. So, we have got all the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and again coming back to 1. So, unlike a prism problem, so here you have to connect all the points which are obtained by using a curve. So, now we connect, let us connect all this point using curve. Now, let us connect all this point using option called as curve. So, you can see here, so select this curve, start from 1, come to 2, then you terminate at 3. Otherwise, what happens is, if you don't terminate, you'll end up with a smooth curve. But you know that at point 3, the corner will be sharp. So, I'll terminate at 3 and again, I'll restart with the curve. So, start from 3, 4, 5 and at this point, it is a smooth curve. So, I can continue without terminating it. So, end again at 7 because you know that again at 7, it will be a sharp edge. So, again start from 7, 8 and back to 1. So, this is how it looks like. So, now you can darken the lines which are visible. So, I will select. So, I will select now the boundaries. and also the curve and I have to change the line type. So, I will make it as 0.5. So, do not make the other generators dark in this case because they are not the real edges. They are just the generator which are used to construct the final view. So, only the boundaries should be dark. So, this is the solution for the particular problem. Thank you.